All right, Todd is here, kicking off a brand new week. Fine, let's just do the math here. Uh, yeah, final full week of March. Because April's, uh, April, April's next Saturday. So, yeah, right. Yeah. It falls on the weekend. A, splits March, us. splits April. Yeah. So. Uh, so, yeah, so the final full week of March. Sure. And the final half day of winter. That's right. Technically. Officially spring. Woo. Later this evening. Yeah, it's going to feel like it, isn't it? it well, it kind of will. <laughs> Good. The first few days. Um, yeah, but, there, but there's still some chances for snow. Obviously, we know that living here in Maine for several years, that uh, April is a winter month for the most part, and it still offers up our chances for, uh, for some snow, and so does early spring for that matter. All right, so the morning temperatures are cold. These are some of the coldest numbers we've had this month, and we're pretty deep into the month at this point. A lot of teens on the board this morning, including Lewiston at 16 and Bangor at 19 degrees. There's a little bit of a breeze, too. You're feeling it up in the New Hampshire mountains. You're feeling it across northern Maine as well with wind chills that are in the single digits at the moment. It is going to be pretty quiet out there, and we're going to have a lot of sunshine through the day. A series of fronts will be moving through. There's really no moisture with them other than a little bit of cloud cover. So today we get a warm front to pass through. It turns milder this afternoon. And then we have a cold front that'll be fizzling as it passes. So we really won't get a blast of cold. But later this week, enough is still up there in Canada to lead to a wintry mix on Thursday, maybe a bigger storm over the weekend. So some things to keep an eye on for sure. Mainly clear and bright out there this morning, and it is the coldest morning we've had in a while, so you'll need to uh, dress for it. Sunny across the south for the middle of the day. The northern half of the state is going to have increasing clouds. Our temperatures will rise 40 degrees and higher, but the wind is going to stay active, so it'll feel brisk out there. Afternoon and evening, some stray snow showers coming out of the mountains and getting over to the county. Elsewhere, it's bright and it's a lot milder too, but again, we have that breeze to contend with this afternoon as well. Normally, our high is 43. We should do better than that just about everywhere. Bangor hits 44, our capital 45, Twin Cities 46, Portland 47 degrees. Warm spots down in southern York County and seacoast New Hampshire. Again, we'll have that breeze out of the west 10 to 20 miles per hour. It won't be as gusty as yesterday, but it'll still be noticeable. As we head through the middle of the week, tomorrow this front falls apart as it passes, so tomorrow's mild still with a mix of sun and clouds. Wednesday a little chillier as a high builds in from the north, but still nice and bright. Enough of that chill hangs around as our next storm system works through Wednesday night into Thursday. Quick little mix goes over to rain for most of us, but far northern Maine may pick up a few inches of wet snow. That passes out of here late Thursday into Friday, so Friday's a good day. But we are going to be establishing some cold as we head into the weekend and a storm will be developing on this front in the deep south. This one will be stronger and it does pose a pretty big threat over the weekend. Saturday night into Sunday morning, rain snow mix, perhaps more snow than rain as that passes through over the weekend. That's why I say we have things to keep an eye on later this week. In the meantime, enjoy the next few days. Here's the marine forecast from the weather service. There are small crafts that are up through the day, seas three to five and southwest winds that'll be gusty. Mostly sunny skies out there, a little breezy with high temperatures in the mid 40s. Spring arrives this evening at about 530 in the evening. It'll be partly sunny tomorrow, upper 40s. Mid 40s as it stays quiet on Wednesday, but Wednesday night into Thursday morning, a little bit of a mix for some of us. A lot of us just deal with some rain with no accumulation expected. Mountains and north will see a few inches. Partly sunny and quiet on Friday, and then a bigger storm system and a bigger threat over the weekend, Saturday night into Sunday. That may lead to some accumulating snow, and it could even be down to the coastline. Okay, we'll keep an eye on all of it. Mm -hmm. Happy spring. Thank you. <laughs>